Hey Rap Bags, it's Jade. Welcome back to another Valheim news video. Today we're taking more of a look at the siege engines that are going to be coming to Valheim in the Ashlands update. And Ashlands, I have to keep saying and remind people, is more than likely won't be hitting to the end of the year, possibly even beginning the next. In the meantime, there's going to be more updates coming. Hilda's Quest is going to be the next one with a whole bunch of customization. But this is the first time we've seen the actual siege engine in its animation form. I showed you guys some of the concept art that Robin, the artist guy at Iron Gate, showed off. Now Jonathan's getting on the act. I love these two, trying to outdo each other on who's got the best reveals. Does look like there's going to be two siege engines though, by the looks of things, as Jonathan is showing off the Doggerpult, that's what they're calling it, and Grimm's first picture does look a bit different, and he did say it was going to be doing more to do with digging or getting through certain things. This is what's going to be part of the Ashlands having to take down enemies like the Chard or break into their fortresses or citadels. Obviously at the moment it's still a work in progress, but I really like the way the feet are moving out or contracting as it fires it. This does kind of remind me of like a little teaspoon though. I mean, I guess that's the whole point. We need merch, a little teaspoon like this people. But that's not the only thing. We've got more info about Hilda's quest update, which will be the next update that hits Valheim, I'm sure. And looking likely we might see news later on this week. The devs normally do a monthly blog, and it's just about due and time that we'll get info, hopefully with either more teases and possibly even a release date. But that won't be dropping in the next couple of weeks. Jonathan did reply to someone on Twitter asking, and he said, yeah, the update for Hilda's Quest certainly won't be going live anytime in the next two weeks. But yeah, the Ashland stuff won't be here, I'm guessing, until the end of the year, maybe even beginning of next. If it comes any earlier than that, that's a bonus. Here's another one that went horribly wrong. Game dev isn't easy, obviously. Just imagine this happening. A malfunction, a one in a millionth time happening in Valheim. So it looks like as well as being able to fire pretty much anything like a rock, you will be able to chuck pieces of wood. Maybe for a big building project to launch your forest you've chopped down over to an island. Who knows? As always though, bear in mind things may change. They may decide that this isn't that great. The design of it may change or they may decide that it's just not really what they want to add. But I think if they've gone to this stage of animating it and stuff now, it's probably a sure bet to appear in the Ashlands in the future. And Jonathan's got all the juice over the last couple of days. He also gave some feedback after I did my last video talking about the new world modifiers and how you'd be able to create custom games now for Valheim, making it harder or easier. He tinkered around with the death penalty, so now casual, you'll not drop any gear and you won't lose any skills, or you can have it that you lose some skills, but not all of them. And you get the idea. There's just more choices and options with the death penalty. He also explained what player-based events was. And yep, if you've triggered the Swamp Raid event because you've defeated Bomas, but your friend on your server or on your game hasn't, then you will get the raid, but your friend won't. It's no more getting ruined in your wooden shack just because your friend's gone and defeated Moda already and you get a bunch of ice drakes coming to kill you. Some other stuff from Jonathan's replies, and he's been a busy boy. He said that they're going to be looking at the mod workshop support once they've got all the biomes done in the game. And I guess, obviously, once the biomes are done, that will be actually Valheim probably released as a 1.0 game. No promises, but it's definitely something on the cards. And he has iterated this to me and other interviews in the past as well. And something really, really interesting that I think a lot of players might appreciate, he is looking at limiting ways that players can join other people's worlds fully geared up. It has been a problem, it does kind of ruin progression sometimes, at least have it as an option. So you'll be able to choose whether or not a player or a friend can join with any character with any gear, or you might be able to restrict it and they have to join fresh. I would love that option. He did reply to someone that is something they're going to look into as well. So these small pliers are actually big, big news because it does cement a lot of their things that they're going to be working on again, as they have said some of this stuff in the past or thought it might be a good idea. Again, obviously everything could be taken with a pinch of salt, but yeah, I'd be really, really pleased to see them add some of them options they spoke about. Right now though, their highest priority, despite showing some of this stuff off, is getting the Xbox crashes fixed. They're now pretty confident in the way that you can restore worlds, but they know it's still a bit of an ongoing situation. And that's pretty much it. If the Valheim devs sneeze, I will let you guys know. Looking forward much to the Ashlands update. And of course, when we get more near at a time, we'll do complete recaps of everything you need to know about it beforehand. But yeah, the next one is the Hilda's Quest that will have all the custom game options and obviously new points of interest to explore in some of the older biomes, plus customizing your Viking, and I'm sure even more. So until next time, Rat Bags, laters.